if you don't mind clearing the section where the keyboards are. So we can have a moment of silence for our friend and our brother and a father and just an amazing human being. tribute that packed Burlington Civic Square in the bitter cold. Thousands came to say goodbye to Mike Taylor, the keyboardist for Walk Off the Earth, who was known by fans simply as Beard Guy. This finale, a video montage where Taylor plays piano on a cover of Bohemian Rhapsody while the band sings, culminates in a spectacular fireworks display. It was an emotional moment for everyone there. Good evening. It is still not clear how the 51-year-old Taylor died. His family said it happened peacefully in his sleep of natural causes, leaving not only his family but his bandmates, his friends and millions of fans in shock. There was sadness tonight, but mostly it was a celebration of his life and enormous talent. So we can have a moment of silence for our friend. Walk off the earth, Sarah Blackwood was in tears through much of the show, but she also expressed her deep gratitude and awe for the outpouring of love for her bandmate and the impressive list of musicians who cleared their schedules for this grand send-off. Bands like the Bare Naked Ladies, Arkells, Scott Hellman, and many others. Before the show started, she and two other members spoke about the impact Mike Taylor had on so many lives and how putting on this show has helped them all with the grieving process. To have the amount of love and support we've had come over us in the last while from fans, from coworkers, from just people who knew Mike on a personal level, it's been incredible. Human kindness has been just just the, the, the hit of that. To, to realize how much kindness and love and support there is out there has made it certainly easier for us and we appreciate it so much. Music heals and we know that for many different situations and um, we're hoping that eventually over time it'll help us keep his memory alive. Walk Off the Earth shot to fame in 2012 after this YouTube release of Somebody That I Used to Know, where all five members played on the same guitar. It went viral and has been viewed millions of times and helped the band land a gig performing at last year's Super Bowl. Beard Guy was a character Mike played while in the band, steely-eyed and quiet, but in reality, he was nothing like that. He had a joke for everything, very witty, very witty guy. Well, it's not Beard Guy was a fan favorite, and thousands came out tonight, some from great distances who waited in the cold for hours. It was pretty emotional just seeing them and hearing them perform together without him. So I imagine I'm going to be a mess. He's just like the silent funny guy of the group, so you can't not love him. I'm here as a fan and with my daughter. Yeah. I mean, she needs the closure, so that's what we became. We come from Collingwood. And I'm just really sad. On top of his talent as a musician, he was a well-known member of the Burlington community, which is where the band originated. He was a hockey coach, a music teacher, a business owner, and most importantly, a devoted father of two. Before Taylor's death, the band had been planning a world tour beginning next month. They have decided to follow through with those plans in honor of Mike and said they will not be replacing him with another keyboardist.